guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gaynor. I'm Soph. And today we're doing a little bit of Bill Burr, plastic surgery and lotion. Yes. That word, lotion, makes me <laughs> cringe, you know. <laughs> Why? I don't know, there's, there's, there's certain words that just make me kind of go... Lotion. And lotion is one of them. I just, I just imagine like... like I do get what you mean. Yeah. Maybe you have what's that? There's, I swear there's like a... Um, Obviously, I think there's a term for most things now, but I'm, I'm sure there's a term for, like, when you... Certain words have, like, certain, like, actual physical reactions. Reactions, yeah. 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 <laughs> there's another one, and I can't remember where it is, but when, when, whenever I moist. hear it... Moist. Moist. Like, oh. <laughs> every, I think that's everyone. It's not like, even me. I'm like, no. Yeah, it's just, it just makes me feel like... <laughs> yeah. Crazy. And it's, like, probably not the word itself. It's, like, what it, like, what means. What it does, Yeah. 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 Um, let's get into it anyway. Yes, yeah, so let's get into it. So plastic surgery and lotion and <laughs> Bill Bear. I gotta admit, the only thing that freaks me out about Los Angeles is, uh, is all the plastic surgery. I don't get it. Why do people get plastic surgery, you know? Why can't you just admit it's over? <laughs> you know, you had your time. Stop trying to look fuckable in your 50s. It's weird. With their faces yanked back, looking all shiny, right? <laughs> Not to mention, they haven't even figured it out. You know, why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? <laughs> right? That's what you want to look like? Like you just lost a fight three days ago? Don't be a hero. Let somebody else go in there, take the fucking beach. You, you lay back, wait it out. They're just lying to people. I oh, know, looks great, looks great. Put a little ice on it. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? We followed every step. Did we miss something? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, here's your keys. Here's your keys. There you go. There you go. Almost didn't recognize you. You look so young. All right, take it easy. She gone? All right, she's gone. All right, shred everything. Shred it. No, you're nuts. You wait it out. Let them figure it out. Then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero. You know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look... Do you know what? Kind of on this subject. Um, I didn't know, like, contact lenses when they first came about. Are they, were they, they were, like, hard, weren't they? So now you have, like, your soft contact yeah. lens that you can, like, you know, squeeze. Yeah. But were they hard? Yeah. But I'm like, how did you get that out your eye? You know, when he's saying, like, oh, don't, you know, do things until... You know, yeah. they improve the like the technology. Yeah. Like, I'm not. How sure, would not... you get them out? Do you know what I mean? If anyone knows, let me know because I've always found that a bit. I'm, pre bit, I'm like, presuming weird. that you just like slide it in and then slide it out. Then like you need to bend it to like actually, you know, get it out of your eye. I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm so blind yeah. as a bat, but I could never have contact lenses because I couldn't put my finger in my eye. Really? Yeah. Do you know what? I, I never had contact lenses till I was like 16. I think I first got mine, and I now like you can you can do anything. Like you get used to it. It's just the initial, like, boop. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. you do get used to it. Yeah. But a lot of people won't have contact lenses because of that reason. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you know in the comments because yeah, I'm intrigued. You know, <laughs> look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. Saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. <laughs> Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their hairline. Like, is that, is that sewn in? I see pine tar. They used to put you in like a headlock. Hold still. Use like a nail gun. Hold still. You guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just a few little. I wish you got hair plugs ten years ago. Do you wish you got polio sixty years ago? <laughs> what else is on your wish list, sir? No, you don't fuck with your face. Okay? I understand liposuction. They screw that up. You can put on a shirt. Right? <laughs> There's no shirt for your face. <laughs> Who do they think they're fooling? But they're stupid. You know? And then you lie to yourself. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna have this done. No, you're not. You're not. What are you? You're just gonna wax the fender on your car. Then that's it. And the rest of it looks all shitty. Well, maybe I just do the hood, and maybe I'll do the back. That's how it happens. Yeah. Then you look like one of those Real Housewives, like face all twisted up. 
<laughs> fucking idiots. Do anyway, I look? <laughs> man, they're idiots. Do I look like I'm in my 20s? No, you look weird. You look fucking weird. You still look like you're in your 50s. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age between 52 and 53. Yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52 and looking 52. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. What would you rather be, 52 and look 52, or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? <laughs> right? That's your options at this point. <laughs> Let's press pause. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? You see some women, and the face is absolutely pure. You can't see any wrinkles, but then yeah. the neck... It's like wrinkly, and the back of the hands, the, the telltale say, say yes. is the back of your hands. Yes, they say the, age. the first um, things to age on you is your neck and your hands. hands. That's why they yeah. say always put sun lotion. Yeah. Obviously it'll age anyway, but like yeah. put it on your hands yeah. and your neck. Yeah. Or like, you, you know, your yeah. chest area. Yeah. You. Decliotage. Decliotage, that's the, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really, really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. You notice that? I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. <laughs> Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? Because their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. <laughs> right, jamming all nine. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. Aww. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! <laughs> it's understandable with them. <laughs> hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> What is this lotion you speak of, and what is the magic therein? <laughs> Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, <laughs> but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, because <laughs> you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go, on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. <laughs> I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. <laughs> She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. <laughs> I've never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. <laughs> it's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, oh, I'm shit, I'm ashy. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm gonna be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. <laughs> See that? That's why you gotta hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. <laughs> White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. 
I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. <laughs> you know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Right? <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend, if he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so see, there you go. All right? You don't need a facelift. Okay? Lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize, you're gonna be fine. Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day, it's ridiculous. They all get a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dunk themselves in it, shake themselves off and walk out the door absolutely glistening, glistening. White guys like me are walking around, no hat on. Hey, let's go sailing. <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. <laughs> oh, oh god <laughs> the amount of times that i've gone out when it's been sunny thinking oh it's only like 60 degrees i'm not gonna get and i come back and i'm absolutely burnt proper, really? proper red <laughs> so yeah like i i think though it's probably like a generational thing as well because like 30, 40 years ago, like people would go out in like literally like baby oil and just like yeah. fry in the sun. I used, to, I used to, when I was like 18, 17, 18, I used to go on holiday. I used yeah. to start on factor two and then go straight to coconut oil. Coconut oil? Yeah. No. Yeah, and then I'd come back and I'd be chocolate brown. Like real, like a really nice yeah. tan. Yeah, now, factor 50, the hat, <laughs> the <Yeah>. glasses. <laughs> just the whole way. Yeah. No, I, rem I remember coming home once. And my mum didn't even recognise me. I walked in the house and she went, oh God, she said, what have you done? And then, <laughs> and then when Darren and I went on our honeymoon, same again, we came back and we were like chocolate brown. We looked like we'd been in mud. We were so brown. And now we hate the sun. Yeah, that's the thing. Especially as you get older, like, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, like I used to be fair when I used to go away, like to buy beef and stuff, I used to wear like that factor too, like, Oil, you know, oh, like that, yeah. um, that is it, tropic oil or something. Yeah. And then now, like, I always, every single day, no matter what, even if it's the middle of winter, I always wear Factor 50, 50 on my face yeah, and my no neck. Yeah. Like, the rest of you is covered, so you don't need it, but you'll yeah. need to protect your face. Yeah. That's yeah. the main thing. Because, yeah. yeah. like you said, you can wear a jumper everywhere else, but, yeah. you know. Face, yeah. <laughs> it's going to cost you a fortune on Botox and fillers in later <laughs> exactly. years that you don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. We do like a bit of build there. Um, and again, I'm just very quickly going to tell you about our Patreon. Yeah, we've got a Patreon channel. It's just $3 a month, just one flat fee. You can pay us more if you want, but it's just $3 a month. Um, exclusive content on there, mm -hmm. competitions, getting to know us, Sophie's movies. Yeah, much more. A little bit of everything. Yeah, um, yeah thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.